Hello friends and uh, welcome back to the e-commerce uh, course series. We are now into chapter 6 and I know I said that we're going to get into retailing but retailing needs to wait a little bit. I found that this was more important because as I was trying to revise or review the materials that I was talking about at the uh, about the uh, business plan tips and business plan templates I was getting an idea that marketing and advertising is really something that is the next step after you create your business plan you have your website ready the next step would be marketing and advertising and I think the sooner you know about this the better okay so retailing would come we did cover retailing in the beginning retailing would come we could talk more about it but let's get into the uh, inside secrets of marketing and advertising in e-commerce this is very exciting and it's very dynamic it's, it has changed a lot over the years so let's let's see what changes we see let let's see what you know already and uh, let's try to find out what new things you can take away from this course okay the learning objectives of this chapter are describe the factors that influence consumer behavior online Okay, this is one of the main things that you'll be learning. You will be talking about the decision making process of the consumer. Okay, so now we are focusing on the consumer, how they decide that they want to open up their purse, take the money out and give it to you and buy your product or your service. What is the decision making process or what is the factor that influences the consumer behavior in the online uh, environment okay online commerce environment understand the decision making process of consumer purchasing online discuss the issues of e-loyalty e and e-trust in electronic commerce now this makes uh, a very good chapter for put your learning into practice M commerce chapter didn't have a lot of stuff that I could add to the website except for one thing which I have already shown you the M commerce chapter was all about mobile uh, based marketing and I've already showed you at bigs.com I'm going to show it to you again the mobile app version of the website we already have that the desktop version the laptop version is the same and the mobile version we could see it uh, on the screen I'll show it to you again but that's about it so I decided to include the business plan and the business plan sample some tips just to get you going okay and up now what we're going to do is cover advertising and marketing and also we're going to take this a lever higher to put your learning to practice and I'm going to add the e-loyalty and e-trust issues and electronic commerce I'm going to add that in the uh, scrumptious indulgence business describe segmentation and how companies are building one-to-one -one relationships with customers what is market segmentation market segmentation divides the customer base into groups based on similar characteristics similar personalities similar similar background similar socioeconomic status and similar needs and requirements from your business so that's called segmentation making uh, dividing the market into segments based on similar groups so describe segmentation and how companies are building one-to-one -one relationship with customers in the example uh, in the previous example the sample that you saw the business plan sample you saw that they were talking about non-profit organizations that's a segment of a market that they are targeting so a segment is labeled very easily you can label a segment and you could say that this is XYZ group and they have uh, ABC needs and we need to make sure that we have a one-to-one -one relationship with them to keep up with their needs to keep up with their concerns and to fulfill their demands and exceed their expectations so we're going to describe that and explain how consumer behavior can be analyzed for creating personalized experiences services so that is also the main focus now 
how you can create personalized exper experiences uh, and services. Then you have described consumer market research in electronic commerce, how consumers bring about re research, how they conduct research in an electronic commerce environment, what features of the product are they looking for. Okay, we have size, dimensions, we have make, but then price is also something that they love to compare. Okay, so this is called comparison shopping, window shopping. So we're going to find out how customers are doing it. But because if you know how the customers are doing it, you will be able to provide a better solution for all their problems. Describe the objectives of web advertising and its characteristics. Why do you need to advertise? What is the advantage? How can you advertise? And how you can create a wide audience uh, for your advertisement. I will show you a couple of examples on powtoon.com and we're going to create an advertisement for scrumptious indulgence and I'm going to show it to you how we do it. So put your learning into practice we'll have number one I will show you how we can create e-trust and e-loyalty. Number two I will show you how to create an advertisement a web-based advertisement and how you can reach a very wide audience and the next thing that I'm going to be covering is describe the major advertising methods used on the web now get your hands ready we're going to have a lot of fun in this chapter we're going to cover a lot of resources and I'm going to introduce to you a lot of things that you can do with your website describe mobile marketing concepts and techniques I mean we've done that but we're just going to do it in relationship with marketing and uh, we're going to touch a little bit more on, on that that's it not too many details because we've already devoted an entire chapter on mobile uh, concepts then we're going to be doing describe various online advertising strategies and types of promotions describe some implementation topics okay we're going to be talking about that as well then you have uh, learning about consumer behavior okay let's begin the chapter the first topic is learning about consumer behavior online we already have a model of consumer behavior and the, we discuss in this model the major influential factors personal characteristics product or service factors merchant and intermediary factors and what else we discuss the electronic commerce systems, the motivational factors, hygiene factors, then we have environmental factors in which we have social variables, cultural community variables, other environmental variables. So let's see all of these factors come into play when a customer looks at the product. Okay? For example, just look at this example here. So I'm back to my favorite store here, Marka VIP, and look at these products that are available out there, Marc Jacobs, we have Michael Kors, Tommy, um, Max Factor, Moschino, Clinic. I, I see a lot of Kate Spade, I see a lot of products that I really like, and what am I thinking of, what am I thinking when I want to buy? Now what happens is, what they do is, for example, in the Ramadan season, they know most of the people they stay up way uh, late in the night and they're on the internet so they send uh, they send mobile notifications if you have a mobile app of marker VIP they send you mobile mo notifications and they tell you that there is a deal going on right now for five hours only you buy this brand and you get 20 percent off so and that uh, and that the promotional code is also provided so I'm like, yes, I was waiting for this code. Let me just buy this and then, you know, I'll just buy something and then I'll get a 20% 20 per, 20 off discount. I may have something already in my um, shopping cart. But what I'll do is I will wait for this promotional code. So this is what's going on in my head. As a woman, I am jumping at deals. I am jumping at sales. Any kind of promotional codes, I love them. I want to use them as soon as possible. So this is this, this is what's going on in my uh, in my decision making process in my mind when I look at a product 
I really want to make sure that I get a best deal out of it. The environmental factors, the socio-economic factors, the social variables, like how, how people around me are dressing. If, I, if my social circle has people wearing a lot of designer bags, I will be uh, inclined to buy designer bags. If I have a cultural or community, uh, a cultural community variables in which I have a lot of people wearing loose and uh, comfortable clothing, I would be wearing the same. I would be compelled to buy something similar. And other environmental variables, if it is hot outside, I would be buying something that is uh, going to make me feel cooler, cooler colors, hygiene factors. I would like to see what kind of you know. Uh, uh, well, in the online environment, hygiene factors are very hard to determine because in an online store, uh, it's all about, you know, the store itself, the computer, the screen, the pictures. So I'm not sure what hygiene factors would be, but then we have motivational factors like what kind of fashion environment you have around you. Many, many factors like these. I'm just describing what goes on in the head of a consumer. Okay, let's look at this example here. We have an electronic consumer, uh, electronic commerce consumer behavior model. Okay, this is something that you need to print out and put it on your wall for future reference. You cannot go wrong with this, and uh, this will help you create advertisements. This will help you create a target market. This will help you segment your market. This will help you define your customer to a huge the smallest to the biggest detail possible. It will help you set up business intelligence uh, analytics uh, on your any kind of service that's providing it. It will help you set up those analytics. And this figure is great for learning more about your customers. For example, you have uncontrollable variables here. The consumer characteristics, the environmental characteristics, the merchant intermediary characteristics okay and you have controllable variables here that is the electronic commerce systems technology and website variables under my control are payment and logistic supports the payment options delivery options timeliness accuracy uh, and conditions of products received all of this is under my directly my control then you have website features for example website accuracy up to date information presentation, completeness, web page design, navigation, usability, consistency. Isn't this what we are working on when we do uh, put your learning into practice? We go to the big site and we try to create the best creation possible and we try to incorporate all of these features, accuracy, up to date, information presentation, completeness, web page design, navigation, usability, consistency. Okay, and for customer service uh, part, we provide fax, we provide email, we provide call centers, personalization, and one to one relationship. Okay, so let me note this down because I would offer all of this in the customer service section and put your learning to practice. Then we have let's go to the uncontrollable variables we have age, gender, ethnicity education, lifestyle, psychological makeup, knowledge, values. I'm sure I don't have to explain all of these words. This is English language, basic English, English language, motivation, satisfaction, experience, preference, habit, trust, frequency of purchase, personality. These are consumer characteristics. Then you have environmental characteristics like culture, normative social influence, Peer or superior influence, informational social influence, legal, institutional, government, regulations, political community, social network. Then you have merchant and intermediary characteristics like brand reputation, trustworthiness, policies and procedures. And what am I talking about here? Merchant and intermediary characteristics. Merchant means the business to business relationship that I have it's uncontrollable out of my control I mean I might find out later on that their products were very bad they had to recall them okay or I mean I I won't know until, until 
I talk around to some trusted friends who have purchased from the similar business like Alibaba.com. Notice how they provided so many proofs and verifications that their products are FDA approved. They are temperature uh, controlled, temperate, which means that they won't melt or go bad under certain temperatures. They are very, they can withstand high temperatures. And then other features like you know the completely safe and whatnot. You know what kind of uh, all kinds of logos they added to assure the customer that the brand is not only recognized, it is safe and it is approved. So those kind of features, they can add a lot of things, but what if, you know, they are not true? You never know. You need to try to find out what you're getting your hands into. So merchant and intermediary characteristics are also out of control. Consumer characteristics and control personality are also out of control naturally. That's natural. Then you have buyer's decision process. This is the main cycle here, okay? The buyer's attitude, intention, purchase, loyalty. All these factors constitute the buyer's decision process. What attitude they came to your store with. Their intentions, what do they want to get. Purchase and then after purchase behavior, post purchase behavior. How loyal they are. Would they come back? If they come back, that means you are a successful business. Okay, if they keep coming to you, that means you have just made a loyal customer. Okay, then you have product, service, or characteristics. Again, this is under my control or our control as a business person. Product or service knowledge, product or service type, product service availability, product service customization, product service quality, product service variety, differentiation. What's differentiation? The different kinds of products that you're providing. Each product stands out from the other and has its own value. Okay. For example, product differentiation can also be described by the various channels of money inlet that you're creating for your business. For example, in conscious indulgence, we have online classes, we have online ordering. We have reward system, we have online store. This is product and service differentiation. Okay, I'm not providing just one thing. I'm providing four or five things at the same time. Each has its own value, each is different and unique from each other. Then you have tangibility, price, and brand. Brand is again it's beyond the scope of this course, but brand is what will drive the customers back to you again and again. It's a brand's promise. It's a promise of a product or a service what they are going to provide. Okay. So we had homemade cakes at your doorstep. Okay. So which means that from the oven to your tabletop, we'll be there. So this is what the uh, these are the factors that affect the consumer behavior model. Okay. Let me end the video and I'm going to continue the same chapter, chapter 6, Marketing and Advertising, in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.